Hey guys, what is up? So here's a quick little quick little thing for you. If y'all follow me very much on Instagram, right? Yes, Instagram. Um, then you may have noticed that I actually like something happened, lightning struck somewhere possibly, um, and uh, I won one of those giveaway things, you know, that you see all the time. It wasn't a gun, right? But it was like a bunch of cool stuff. So we did get. This is cool. I'm very surprised. And big thank you to Jeremy who who told me about the giveaway. This was like a couple weeks ago, I think. But anyway, um, we have this from JE Machine, right? I believe. I believe yes, JE Machine Tech. These folks right here, JE Machine Tech. Um, they gave away this stuff, and it's freaking cool. Freaking cool. Okay, so they gave away their. Uh, hold on, let me get this thing out. Should have had this prepped before the video. Whatever. I didn't. Um, their cool little buffer tube, right? It's got, got some cool little angles and whatnot and things to it. Uh, I believe it's an eight position. It's kind of cool. Their buffer tube, their B5 style stock, right? Their SOCOM stock. Um, their butt stock. Pretty, pretty freaking sick, in my opinion. And then the giveaway stated that it was like a 15 inch or something T mod rail. But whenever he contacted me, um, he was like, Hey, if you want a particular rail, let me know. And I was like, you know what? Have you got an 11 inch M lock rail? He was like, no, but I got a 12 and I was like, mm, okay, we can make that work. So we got a 12 inch key mod rail, not key mod M lock, 12 inch M lock. I'm not really a big key mod fan. Um, more or less. I like either a pick rail, complete pick rail or a, uh, M lock. I like M lock better, but yeah, they sent that out. And then also I have it in my, I know I have it in this gun. <laughs> A lot of this stuff's kind of going to this, uh, this 12 and a half, 12 and a hatch, 12 and a half inch gun. Um, but this is really cool. I've never used one of these. Um, so it's going to be freaking interesting. I think it's going to be very interesting. I can get it out of here. I don't think you're supposed to use the detent. Let me use these guys, but they're silent capture. I now it's going to be stuck in there. There we go. Come on, come on, buddy. There's silent capture. Spring. Hold on, hold on. Almost got it. There we go. This guy. There we go. There's silent capture spring, um, which is pretty, pretty interesting. I don't know. I've never had one of these. I've never had one of these. I've shot once uh, with a, you know, those buffers that people have, um, just the buffer itself. And it's kind of got like a, it's like a pneumatic kind of thing where it's got like a springy deal on the end of the buffer and it kind of, it's a buffer within a buffer as it were. I've used one of those. And I couldn't tell a big difference. Um, it was smooth, but this is my first time with a silent capture spring. So this will be interesting. This will be really, really pretty interesting. I think I'm very excited about it. So anyway, what we're going to do now that the kids are asleep, we're going to, um, well, I can take that whole thing off. I'm not going to bore you all to death. We're going to switch out all this, this whole upper thing, all the, this rail, this front sight gas block, um, and we're going to put a low profile gas block on it and put this 12 inch rail. I think a 12 inch rail on this 12 and a half. That's why I kind of wanted an 11 just to be safe, but it's going to be pretty stinking close to coming out to the end of there. So next time you see me here in just a second, it'll all be put together. So here it is before bam. And there it is right there. So that didn't take more than an hour or however long. Um, but anyway, so we got it on. And I think it looks pretty stinking cool. Um, it really has changed the look of this gun overall, that's for sure. But this is kind of the idea of what I wanted to go with anyway. I've been kind of looking for an M-Lock uh, rail, kind of like the Geisley, what is it, the URGI, the new one. Um, kind of something like that. I wanted to kind of go in that direction with this build. Um, and the only thing that this is missing is that a bigger chunky uh, locking system down here uh, to tighten it up to the whatever kind of barrel nut. Um, and then a, I think the Geisley one has a, uh, a QD attachment point, you know, for slings and whatnot. <clears throat> but hey, that's cool. This is fine with me. Hey, I didn't have to pay for it, so <laughs> I'm not going to gripe about it. But it's perfect. It goes right up. It's 12-inch barrel. It goes right up um, to... Uh, where I cut the threads is right at like 12 inches. And so I, then I have that half inch of threads and I put on the brake so that we can run a suppressor. And uh, yeah, 
I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be really cool. One thing I didn't mention is they also sent the, uh, um, uh, the pistol grip. So I changed the pistol grip out. Never used one of these kinds before. Usually it's just a, an A2 or an A1 or a, uh, I've got a couple different ones, but this one's got, you know, finger grooves and whatnot in it. So it actually feels decent. It feels pretty good. So it'll be interesting to get this guy out and actually shoot it. We've got the, uh, the, the silent capture spring in here. Um, their 12 inch rail and the, uh, the pistol grip. So yeah, I'm excited. I think this is going to be really cool. I think this is really, really going to be cool. Um, I can't, the main thing I'm excited about is that silent capture spring because the difference when you pull that, I, I can only imagine beforehand that it's going to be very smooth because it, it, it feels, it just, it seems like it just gets heavier as it goes back and it is very smooth. It is very smooth for whatever reason. It's very smooth. And so I can only imagine it's going to be like an H, you know, two or whatever weighted buffer or feel like one. So I'm thinking it should be very, very smooth. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe it'll just hiccup all over the place, but you know, I can't wait to shoot it. So anyway, that is the new, uh, 12 and a half inch, not really new, but the updated 12 and a half inch pistol build that we've got going on. So anyway, there y'all go. Next time, hopefully I will be able to actually tell you how it shot. So y'all be good to be safe. Enter these giveaways because people do win, right? Look, these people right here gave it away. JE Machine. Ah! Awesome stuff. Y'all be good to be safe. Catch you on the next video.